Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Now, if you're following me on Instagram, you would have seen that I had posted few stories and pictures regarding our travel to Mecca and Jeddah with parents. Many might not know this, we had gone to perform Umrah, which is our pilgrimage. We had gone to Jeddah by flight, which was at seven in the morning. We are flying in Flyners, and they have flights almost every hour. As it was domestic flight, we had to be there at the airport just an hour before the departure time. Now, in this pilgrimage, men wrap a white cloth around their body, which is called ihram garments. So that's where you can see father, my husband, and kids in those clothes. Now, if we are traveling by road, it's not necessary to put on the ihram when we get out from home. but it would be worn on the way before reaching makkah but since we cross the place while flying it's advised to put on before getting out otherwise you'll have to change it from flight which is not practical travel time is almost 1 to 1 and a half hours now on this flight there was a medical emergency too there were few doctors on board so the person was lucky enough anyway the flight landed in 1 hour and 15 minutes Now we have landed at Jeddah airport so we took a taxi and moved straight to Makkah for umrah We had very light snacks from the flight so we stopped on the way to have something filling There were no good restaurants on the way We got into a cafeteria and had a falafel sandwich I actually have a recipe video on preparing falafel and a sandwich too so if you want to know how to prepare this at home fried or baked do check out that video Shall share the link above or below in my description box. Now I don't know if you can see that's a clock tower there and it looked really beautiful even from a distance. We had already booked two rooms in Park and Radisson through booking.com so we just waited in the lobby till the check-in procedures were done. That's kawa, Arabic coffee. This tasted really good. As soon as we got into the room, we quickly put in all our bags and stuffs and moved to perform Umrah. This hotel and I guess many hotels have bus service to Haram Mosque. So we quickly got into the bus and moved. Now I didn't take any videos from inside the mosque as I was not in that state of mind. We took few pictures to send to our family so that's here. We had got out from the room at around 2. and finished the umrah between 3:30 to 4 since we didn't have our lunch we got into a restaurant nearby and had food truly speaking all were really tired after performing umrah and even we had less sleep previous night so all together we were totally exhausted so as soon as we finished our food got back into the bus and straight into the hotel room
Now on this day my sister that's my cousin Safinas who is in Jeddah with her family had invited us for lunch. Our taxi would arrive around by 12 so getting ready. I know I have shown the same abaya and the same hijab so many times. This is my favorite abaya and hijab. Hence I wear it most of the time. This abaya was bought from Qatar I think in the year 2010 or 11. It's almost 9 years and it's still the same because I take care of this very well. And just a cup of kawa and dates before leaving. Last time when parents had visited us they had gone to all the religious places in Mecca and Medina but this time they wanted to perform umrah as soon as possible so this trip was actually not well planned ahead but we need to always expect the unexpected as i said earlier lunch was from my cousin's home so going straight there As a token of love from our side, stopped at a pastry shop to buy some for them. And to receive us, that's her husband Hisham in the light pink shirt. Now when I got in, I got to see her craft works. That's the entire coffee table she had made after watching mine. Bottle craft. And this is something I had made long back even before I started this channel. She had made the same. and that was looking amazing this is actually a balloon craft and that's her painting on kids bedroom wall another tie kept for craft kerala lunch was ready and that was exactly what we wanted especially parents much thanks to them we spent some time together and then moved to the hotel The room we booked was at Burud Al Safawa. It was 15 minutes drive from their home. To be honest, this hotel isn't worth the money they charge. The rooms were spacious but the service was really bad. Usually hotels provide complimentary water bottles, bath towels, prayer mats, soaps and other stuffs. But here we had to inform each and everything at the reception. Only then they brought it to the room. Kids wanted to go to the swimming pool. Mom was in deep sleep. and father had an official guest who was in the room so me and my husband decided to go to the pool area with the kids and have some coffee there the pool was deep and unfortunately kids didn't get in we decided to have some coffee and hot chocolate for kids I know I look very tired. Later that evening, my cousin invited all of us to go out for dinner. But parents usually sleep very early. Even when they are in Kerala, they sleep around at 9 9:15. Now here, every day their sleep time is 8 to 8:30. And after the journey, they were really tired. So she prepared dinner for parents and brought to the hotel so that they could have homemade food which is what they love to have rather than eating out. This tiny man is her little one. 
I asked him to pose for a picture and he happily joined me. After parents had food, it was time for them to sleep. So then we moved out. We went to a Turkish restaurant named Khayal. I think I'm pronouncing it right. The food here was really delicious. I don't leave a chance to drink kava and dates. Just love this combination. That's mixed salad, pineapple juice in itself. I don't remember the names of the dishes. Hisham had ordered the one special in this restaurant. That was mutton kebab. This one is chicken. Both was really very tasty. That's a sizzler dish with chicken and tomato gravy along with cheese. And that's our friend Fabith who had also joined us. As a dessert, kunafa with ice cream. Have never eaten such tasty kunafa anywhere else. That's baklava. And finally with a Turkish tea. I had already tried Turkish coffee. Tea is first time. We spent some time taking pictures and then got off. If you have seen my Swiss vlogs, you will know Nesri, my sister-in-law, and that's her father who is in Jeddah. Now, I don't think I have told this in any video, Nesri is my brother's wife, but even before that, she's my cousin, my mom's sister's daughter. They dropped us back to the hotel and that was really emotional. I wanted to spend more time chit-chatting with my sister, hopefully next time. Our return flight to Riyadh was at 10 in the morning. So soon after our breakfast, we got out and my husband's classmate and dear friend Rashid came to drop us. Parents know him well, so he came specially to meet them. Again, it was just one hour travel, unlike other flights, we travel which take at least 3 hours journey. So this was like we got in, took some rest and it was time to land. Anyway, it was a safe journey. Back in Riyadh and Sanjay came to pick us. We are actually blessed with a lot of friends around us. Now this was a gift for my cousin Safinas. She had bought this from Medina. I don't know if you remember, in few of my videos I used to wear a pink ring and it was my favorite one. She had gifted it to me I guess when I was in college. 
I used to be very careful while wearing it as it was made of glass. Just recently it broke and I sent her a picture. So she bought these two for me and it's lovely. We had lunch and then straight went back home. So that ends today's video. Hope you liked it. See you with more videos. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.